Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing my Sephora VIB sale recommendations and wish list, I guess. Um, I forgot about that part, but I do have some things already in my cart on my Sephora app. So yeah, I guess we'll just jump right into it. I am filming this at night, so that's why the lighting looks pretty bad, but I wanted to get this up before the sale. So t today is the, what day is it? The 6th. So the sale is in three days. It starts on the 9th if you're VIB Rouge. And I'll leave all the details below because I don't know them off the top of my head. I did want to um, include skincare in this video. So I'm going to go in like the order of how I apply the products just so I make sure like I remember everything. So we'll start with skincare. The first thing I have here is this Murad Hydration. Well, it's like the hydration line. AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. This I actually got in a boxy Lux, I believe. And this is like one of the best exfoliants I've ever tried especially for dry skin so you know if you have dry skin sometimes exfoliants are pretty harsh and your skin feels really tight after but this one actually does feel like it exfoliates but also leaves some kind of moisture but it's at the same time not like um, greasy or it doesn't feel like you have a film on your face I don't know I really like this and I was not expecting to, even though Murad products are normally good, but they are pretty expensive. So that's why I'm including it in this video. So if you can get a discount on this, um, it's even better. This is a huge bottle of cleanser. This is 6.75 ounces, um, but it is like $54 <laughs> regular price. I just checked before filming because I didn't know because I got it in a boxy charm. But yeah, uh, if you have been looking for an exfoliant and you have dry skin, I would really recommend this one. And it does actually have um, exfoliating beads in it. It's jojoba beads, so it's better than like... Um, shells or anything that will like tear your skin it's supposedly more um like soft for your skin but anyway i really love this i keep this in my shower so i use it pretty much every day even though it's an exfoliant probably not supposed to but whatever i really like it so after i exfoliate i would do a toner this you've seen many times on my channel it's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. So um, I used to use this to set my makeup, but I wanted to use it up because it was it did look like it was starting to like change, um, like the color and the texture of the product. So I wanted to make sure I got more use out of it. So I started using it as a toner and I really like it. The thing about this is the mist is so fine. Like you can barely feel it. You have to put it very close to your face. But um, that being said, it does kind of like disperse really well. And the scent is really nice too. It's not like a fake watermelon scent because there is like supposedly real watermelon in this so um, you can use this as skincare or as your makeup setting spray although i don't think it's going to yeah it's definitely not going to prolong the wear of your makeup but it will add a glow um if that's what you're looking for so i really like this and this is kind of expensive too i think it's like 34 dollars for 2.53 fluid ounces so if you can get it on sale it's good and then i would go in with a moisturizer so i have two because one is more like a sunscreen but it is actually also a face cream it's from clinique um this is the spf 50 uh face cream i really like this this is one of the few like sunscreens that actually also feels like it's moisturizing. So again, for dry skin, it's really good. It's very thick, 
so you only need like a bit um, of product at a time and at first it looks like oh my god uh, is this ever going to absorb because it, it's very like thick and white but it absorbs really well into the skin and at least on my skin tone it doesn't leave a white cast or anything and it works well under makeup which is really good so this one I use when like I know I'm really going to be out in the sun because it's SPF 50 but I also have the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint but that one is SPF 30 and I I don't know it's that one is not like it doesn't feel like it's moisturizing as much as this one so that's why I included this one in the video and you guys know for moisturizing um, just like a basic face cream you can use at night or day whenever one of my favorites is the belief true cream moisturizing balm so not the aqua balm that one is for like normal to oily skin this one is for dry skin because it's like a, a thick cream um, it looks like this I mean you can't really tell because it's white but yeah this is one of the only face creams like I actually feel like did something for my skin like when I wake up in the morning my skin feels like really like hydrated and plump and all those words people use <laughs> for skincare uh this just really works and there's nothing like weird about it there's no weird aroma or anything it's just a really good face cream so if you were in the market i think this size is 50 dollars. so again really good to get it on sale so um that was it for the skincare so now we'll just get into makeup products and we'll start with primer because we're still going in order this is nothing new this is the coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer i'll never remember the full name of that <laughs> even though it's been in like all my favorites videos and recommendation videos but this is um probably still one of my favorite primers even though i've tried so many this past like year or two this one is still really good it has a really nice scent too and I do feel like it's moisturizing as well as working well under makeup hence I guess why it's called the priming moisturizer so if you have really dry skin and you need like a layer of moisture before going in with your like foundation or whatever this one is really good and it doesn't mess with the formula of your other products so I won't say much more about it because I mention it all the time, but if you can get this one, I really like it. Um, I should also mention too that I really like the Rare Beauty Primer. And I actually feel like this is very similar to the Coconut Skin. It's maybe a bit like more like a gel texture than a moisturizer. But I kind of feel like they give the same effect. This one is maybe a little more illuminating. But yeah, when I'm, I actually have like, I don't know, two or three more uses in this one. So I'm not going to repurchase right away. I'm going to go to this one. But um, yeah, I think this one is also more affordable and it does come in this mini size. So that's another option if you like the same kind of primers that I do. Um, so for foundation, this is a new discovery and I'm very happy that I tried it um, because I really like what this brand stands for and it's a new uh, black owned clean beauty brand at Sephora which is great. So this is the LYS uh, Triple Fix Serum Foundation. Whoa, oh my god. I almost dropped it. I love the packaging of this, like the triangle. It's a nice frosted glass. It feels very luxe, but this is actually a very affordable brand. I will say, I mean, affordable compared to other clean beauty products at Sephora. Um, but I really like that this has skincare benefits in it too. It has HA, turmeric, and ashwagandha. Um, I'll link my LYS video below. 
where I tried like multiple products from this brand and I pretty much liked all of them but this one is like standout to me and I have this shade LN6 I'm actually wearing it right now um, I think it's a really good shade match too and I just really love it you guys know I've been having trouble finding a good foundation for my skin this one is great it doesn't settle into my pores it doesn't crease or look cakey it's just a really nice foundation and it works with a brush or a sponge I've tried both and it worked both ways so yeah I would recommend checking this out for concealer this is I think my favorite concealer in my collection uh, well I have a few I haven't tried yet so I'll say my favorite of the ones that are open <laughs> This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. The reason I like this is because it actually has really good coverage. I have a lot of concealers that are like illuminating and moisturizing, but they're so like thin and watery that I feel like it's pointless because you just you have to add more product to get the coverage and then you're just making it look cakey yeah I feel like well I did set this concealer I'm wearing it also I should mention I'm wearing all of these makeup products on my face <laughs> I did set it with the Becca under eye brightening powder but even if I hadn't I don't feel like this gets too crazy some concealers like I can look in the mirror after and I'll see like cracks in in them where my fine lines are but this one kind of just I don't know it just works with my skin, I guess. Um, and you would think that it would be cakey, especially for someone with dry skin because it's a super coverage concealer and it's like not supposed to be um, brightening or anything, but it just really works. And this shade is not the best one for me. It's the shade Pearl. I feel like it's very like peachy, but I got it in a boxy charm, so they only had like certain options, and this is the one that I chose. So I might um, pick this up in a different shade when I'm done with this one. But yeah, I think it's really good, and it's like a huge bottle too, because it's actually meant like something you can use to contour and highlight and all that stuff. It's like this um, kind of applicator, the like shape tape, huge doe foot kind, and yeah, I really like it. I guess we'll go to highlighter. Oh, and this one I was so excited about because I, when I was preparing for this video, I was like, oh, all of my favorite highlighters you can't get at Sephora. So I went like on the on the site and I was like looking through all the highlighters to see like which ones I have and if I really like them I would share in this video and then I saw this Iconic London Illuminator and I was like Iconic London is that Sephora? so I clicked on it and it said coming April 9th so they're apparently this is Sephora Canada by the way but apparently the day of the sale they are launching Iconic London products on Sephora. So that's very exciting because I, this is, I probably, maybe my favorite highlighter if, let's see. Yeah, I think this is like one of my favorite highlighters. I don't wanna say my favorite cause I don't always reach for liquid highlighters, but this one is just really good. I'm wearing it today. You have to be a little careful with this product. I will say that because it's um, one of these like droppers. It's very liquidy as you can see. And if you put too much, you're going to look like a tin man. So what I do with this, I actually like, I make sure there's nothing even in the dropper. And then I just apply whatever is on the sides of the, and this is like a glass dropper. So I just dab that on my face and I do like three little dots. And yeah, I think you can see even on this terrible lighting, just how like 
it kind of melds with your skin. It doesn't, it's not like too frosty or anything. And I think the best way to apply it is with your finger actually. This is one of like the only products that I like to apply with my finger. Cause if you use a sponge, it kind of just like pounces, like it doesn't blend it out. It kind of needs like the warmth of your finger. I haven't tried it with a brush though. So it could also work with like a stippling brush, but I really like this and I'm excited to see that we can get it at Sephora now, especially in Canada because yeah, you can't get Iconic London anywhere else in Canada unless like you ordered from the site. Um, so yeah, and this is the shade Original, which I feel is pretty universal. Like it's even maybe a tad deep for me. I could use like a shade lighter, but I also don't want something really like icy either so i like this shade i just like how it doesn't look like you have products sitting on your face because i'm starting to realize i really hate highlighters that look powdery and like you can see where the highlighter starts and ends if you know what i mean so that one doesn't do that at all for bronzer i have another lys product actually and if I didn't have like 17 other bronzers, I would probably pick up another shade of this for the during the sale. This is the No Limits Matte Bronzer. I have the shade Motivate. So it's actually the lightest shade. And I think I could go a shade deeper. Yeah, you can see even on camera. This is a very light bronzer, but it still gives like a nice warmth to the skin and it just blends really well it looks really smooth yeah i really just think like you can't go wrong with this and especially if you're like starting out with makeup i know for me personally bronzer was like scary to me <laughs> at first because i was like i don't want like to look orange i always thought like bronzer made you look orange but no it doesn't there's plenty of different shades of bronzer out there but yeah, you can't go wrong with this one because it's not patchy. It doesn't like stick down anywhere. It's just a really good one. So for blush, I have a lot of blushes that I like, but when I was thinking of like, what would I buy specifically because I can save money on it? <laughs> and it was these, the Patrick Ta uh, Double Take Cream and Powder Blushes. So I've talked about these many times on my channel. I actually just used this She's So LA one in my last video and I applied way too much of it but I did like how it looked. Um, so if in case you didn't know, you, these are basically like a two-in-one compact. Um, you get the powder on one side and the cream under the plastic um, thingy. And you actually apply the powder before the cream, which is different than how one would normally apply um, cream and powder products, but it just works. Trust me, that's just how he made the formula. And these are very pigmented. Actually, it's strange because the powder is very sheer, but the cream part is what's gonna be like, whoa, that's... Uh, you need to dial it back a little. So um, the best way that I find to apply these is like just with my normal blush brush and the powder. And then with the cream part, I go in with this sponge, the same one that I use like for my foundation. And I just like dab it a bit and then you just like blend it out right on top of where you put it. And the two together just are magical. I don't know how to describe it. It just looks... Well, I'm wearing... Okay. I'm wearing the other one that I have right now, the Do We Know Her. This one is um, this like peachy, corally one. Um, so I don't know if you can see, but it kind of like... I don't know how it does this because there's like no glow when I look at the pan, but I find this gives me a glow and like some kind of sheen and it just like melds with all the other products on my face. So 
that's like another good thing about these if you're someone that like sets your foundation with a powder or if you're like baking and then you wipe you wipe it away you can go right in with this and it doesn't mess anything up so i really like it for that reason too and it's just a nice like because it the cream part is so pigmented it's kind of just like a really quick and easy thing to do so yeah i really like these and they are expensive i think they're 45 dollars so yeah <laughs> it's good to get a discount on them but also you could think of it it's kind of like a two-in-one product you can use just the powder alone if you want to just have a more like sheer look but when you add the cream on top it's gonna give like an extra oomph for eyes so this is another thing where i was like what would i buy because i could get a discount <laughs> and it would definitely be natasha denona so i finally used my bronze palette if anyone was wondering i'm actually wearing it right now um if you can see in this lighting and i love it this is what it looks like so the reason i recommend these oh and these are like the mid-size palettes i would never buy the 170 dollar ones i mean i wouldn't say never but i just like that's just too much for a palette even if it's on sale so these ones are a little easier to swallow i think they're 85 but the thing about these palettes um so yeah i'm showing you the bronze palette but i also have the sunrise palette so the thing about these is every time i wear them i just love how it looks like the way the color looks in the pan is how it's going to apply to your eye and i feel like with other brands or like not drugstore but like I don't know more affordable eyeshadow palettes you kind of like have to keep building up and putting different colors on and seeing which ones work together but these are just good and i've done really simple looks with these too like this sunrise palette i've used like only these like yellow tones they're mattes and it's like one of my favorite looks that i've ever done and this one these are just all like my kind of shades, the bronze palette. Whereas the sunrise palette is a bit more colorful, but it's also more like red tones. So these are just two of my favorite palettes and I love the formula. It's very blendable. I didn't have any fallout today um, and I applied them pretty like messily. And I went in the, with the shimmer. I used a brush at first and it worked really well, but with your finger it's even better it just applies more it applies it more opaque and yeah i'm very happy with how it turned out i don't like to tell people they should buy expensive things but i think these are worth it i i hesitate when i say that but when I think of like all the palettes that I have, and it's a lot if you've seen my palette collection, these like really stand out to me. So that tells me they're pretty good. <laughs> what else? Oh, just like two more things. One is just like something I use all the time, so I thought I should mention it. Um, it's the Tarte Fake Awake. This is just like a nude liner. But I just think it's really good. Like the formula is good. It stays in the waterline, which is um, a big plus because a lot of eyeliners you put in your waterline and they're gone in five seconds. This one actually stays and it's like a really nice and creamy formula. So I thought I would mention this because I use it in almost like every video. And for lips, I mean, I love lip products. I have so many. I could recommend a lot of lip products, but the one that stands out to me and like the one I missed when I put it back, it was in my shop, my stash, and I put it back in my um, collection and I missed it. So it must mean I really like it. It's the Bite Yay Sayer 
uh, Plumping Lip Gloss and this is the shade Guava Puff. It's what I'm wearing right now. These have cinnamon oil in them. So it's not like a plumper in like the buxom kind of sense where it has like that ingredient that smells weird <laughs> and like burns your lips. You do, it does feel a bit tingly but it's more like a plumper in the sense that it makes your lips look smooth. Like it doesn't make them bigger. It just makes them look smoother in my opinion. And it just feels really comfortable on the lips and it actually tastes really good. <laughs> so if you get some in your mouth, it's not gonna be disgusting. It has like a sweetness to it. So yeah, and I really like this particular shade. I know lip gloss is not like the best product to be talking about, to be recommending at this time in this pandemic, but um, I really just like the look of glossy lips. And actually this one is not like super like wet and slippery. So even if you did put it on and go outside with a mask, I don't think it'd be too horrible. So yeah. And the last thing, I actually don't have it with me, but for setting spray, I would just recommend MAC Fix Plus. I know, it's super boring, and I'm not even sure. I think you can only get MAC at Sephora in Canada, but I just really love MAC Fix Plus. And I went through a whole bottle of it, so I do have some minis. And but they're not like the original scents and I don't know if they carry them on Sephora. So just the original one, it's one of my favorites. I miss it every day. <laughs> but I'm not going to repurchase it because I have so many other setting sprays to get through. But yeah, I really like that one for dry skin specifically. I just feel like it melts all your products together. And if you have like something that looks too matte or too powdery, that putting the MAC Fix Plus on it will just make it look nice and dewy and fresh. So that's the one I recommend. And you can use it as a priming step and a setting step. So that's another thing. Okay, I feel like this video was already long, but I wanted to share my wish list with you. So I guess I'll just put, um, picture here of what I'm talking about because I don't remember how to record my screen <laughs> so yeah and just to make this go quickly so the first thing I have on my list is a new thing from Tower 28 it was like an app exclusive so I don't know if everyone can see this yet like for VIB Rouge I mean but I don't know, it doesn't say, it just says limited edition online only. But anyway, it's the Tower 28 Power Lip and Cheek Duo Set. So it's a full size, wait, is that true? It's two full size products. Okay, that is actually really good for the price. It's $34 and it has one of their new shades of blush, which is actually the one that I wanted. It's the, um, Power Hour, which is described as sun-kissed terracotta. You guys know I have a newfound love for terracotta blushes, so I'm very excited they put a new one in. And you also get a Shine On Milky Jelly Lip Gloss in Cashew, which is the um, rosy brown one. I do already have Almond, I think that's what it's called, um, and I really like that gloss, so I definitely might pick that up and I'm surprised to see it's too full size because I, I also, the Tower 20 blush that I have now I got in a set like this but it came with a travel size of the lip gloss so that's what I thought this was but it's two full sizes so that's a good deal I feel. Um, another cream blush <laughs> on my list is from Merit. I actually wanted to pick this up back when I did that clean beauty video, but it has been out of stock since it came out. And it's in the shade Terracotta. But this Terracotta is more like a brown, like a nude. It's described as a warm cream. So 
that just looks like something I would love. And I did see people use this on YouTube and it looked really good and like nice and dewy on them. So yeah, that one is $36 though for one blush. The next thing on my list is the Pat McGrath Labs Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in the shade Contour. I've been wanting this forever, but I just cannot like bear to spend $37 on a lip pencil. So I guess when it's on sale, it's a bit better. And I really just need a shade of lip liner like this where it's like, um, well, it's described as beige brown, but it's more like deeper, like a deep brown. Because I feel like all my lip pencils are like pink or too light. And I don't have anything that actually like will give some like depth and definition. So, and I've heard really good things about these. So I think that's the one that I want and I would get some good use out of it because it's like something you can use with different shades of lipstick. The next thing that I mentioned I was probably gonna pick up for sure is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Styling Wax. Um, I really just want a brow product that will make my hair stay straight because I don't know if you can see, I mean, I kind of, was able to do that um, today but I had to use the milk clear brow gel which is the one I have right now I don't feel like it holds enough and plus the brush is very small and like the bristles themselves are very short so I don't feel like it lifts the hairs up so when after I put that on I have to like go and push the hairs up and then I feel like I'm just removing the product anyway it's a whole thing so I feel like this is just like something that I can use and be done with it and I have heard really good things about this and it gives like that laminated effect which I like and um, I did see that Kosas you know the brand K-O-S-A-S everyone pronounces it differently so I don't know I'd say Kosas but they just came out with like something that's supposed to give the lamination effect but it's in like a tube and I was like oh I should get that instead because the brow freeze I'm gonna have to use like an extra spoolie and the whole thing but I didn't um I haven't seen good reviews on that product so I went back to this one <laughs> but let me know if you've tried that one yeah I don't know I just feel like this is like a safer bet. Plus Anastasia, like if they know anything, it's about brows, so I'm sure it's good. Oh, another cream blush. <laughs> oh dear. This is by Melt Cosmetics. It's their new cream blush lights. And there's so many nice shades, but I think I want the shade Golden Hour because it's described as bright coral with gold pearl and it looks really good like in the pictures and the swatches and I've heard great things about these so yeah that's probably something I might definitely pick up and that one's only tw I mean only $29 but Compared to the Merit one, which is 36, I mean, sounds better. <laughs> and last thing on my wish list is the Huda Beauty Kayali, Kayali Vanilla. Okay, what is this called? It's a double-sided travel roller ball. So it's her perfume, but you get two in one, which I like the sound of. And one side is Vanilla 28 and the other is Musk 12 and I love Vanilla and Musk scents so I was thinking I would mix them together and this product has been out of stock for like a year <laughs> and it's prop. I bet it's going to go out of stock again before the sale but I think I might finally pick this up because every time I go and say like oh I should get a new perfume 
it's out of stock so it must be really good so i'm hoping it stays in stock so i can get it on sale because it is 37 dollars for a travel roller ball which like is pretty pricey so i'm hoping that will still be there on the night so that's all I have. I mean, I don't need anything right now. That's for sure. Let me know if you think I missed anything. I probably did. I kind of rushed to get this video up because I didn't realize it was already April 6th. I don't know where the time is going. But yeah, if you have any other recommendations for me, leave them below and let me know if you plan on buying anything in the sale, what you're thinking of picking up. I always would like to know and yeah I think that's it so if you like this video give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one bye